Hey everyone, so in today's video, I want to do a uh, video showing Open Lara on the Game Boy Advance. This is not a new concept. This has been around and in development for at least five years. And the idea is to port the original 1996 Tomb Raider on to several different devices. And the Game Boy Advance is one of them. And I just wanted to give a shout out to X Kroger, who has all this stuff on his GitHub page because he's the one working on this. Now, this is an amazing feat, in my opinion. I will include the link, at least this link right here, in the description below. That way, this can get as much exposure as possible. These people did an amazing job and deserve all the credit for this. I just want to show it on the analog pocket and the boxy pixel. I finally played Game Boy Advance and, and Unhinged Game Boy Advance. I just want to see how it looks there. I looked a little earlier, I tried it out, it looks very good. I'll be using the EverDrive GBA X5 Mini. And I'm going to try it on the Easy Flash Omega. Not the E edition, just the um, just the regular one. So let's uh, let's move over to the to the Pocket and the Game Boy Advance. Now, before I do that, please leave a like and um, subscribe to the channel. It really does help. So thank you everyone and let's just move right over. All right, so here we are. This is how it looks on the analog pocket. Let's raise the volume. Let's see if we can hear anything. Maybe you can hear the snow. <laughs> it sounds very good. I can tell they did a lot of work here. Looks absolutely beautiful on the pocket. Oh, there you go. You get hurt too. It's just like the original. See how I put it with guns again. There you go. Uh, they did a really good job, I gotta say. Looks really good. If any of you guys have an EverDrive, just, just check it out. Feels just like, feels almost just like the original. Yeah, you got the tracks for the walls. <laughs> I did a really good job. I gotta say, it looks re looks and plays really good on the analog here. Okay, so now that I have this here, what I want to try and do now is I got my Easy Flash here. This is like I mentioned. This is the, the regular edition. This is not the definitive edition, and I want to put. The EverDrive in my, you know, let's put this in the Boxy Pixel Unhinge. That's using a funny play as well. So let's let's see. Let's go to ROMs. Hack. Okay, yeah, here we are. Okay, let's do clean boot. See if it gives me any. Ah, you know, the same thing happened last time. It's giving me a read save error. So I don't know if anybody else is having this issue. Let's try to boot with add ons. Um, let me know in the comments if anybody else is having this issue on the Easy Flash. If it's working on the pocket, I know some people are having issues. If it's not, then just then you know just so let me know. It could just be me and the way I'm doing it. Let's change the, change that around. Let's see. Let's see if it works fine now. It's trying it's trying to load now, so. See if it loads up. Meanwhile, let's turn on the unhinge. Okay, let's hit start. That was the last thing I played. Okay. 
Yeah, this is the intro. I didn't show it last time. See, this is a little bit smaller in the pocket. This is Mitch. Does fit the full screen though. Uh, let's see. Direct boot. No, I'm still getting the same error. All right, no matter what I try, it looks like I'm getting that error. I might as well, let me delete it from here. Please not taking up more space. Okay, so yeah, let me know in the comments if anybody else has that issue playing on Easy Flash. Maybe Easy Flash is not compatible with this. But for now, let's go back to this one here. It's just the same. Oh, I did a really good job. This is extremely difficult to do on a Game Boy Advance. It's amazing. This would have been amazing if you if this came out actually was released for the Game Boy Advance back then. People would have been blown away. Oh man, they actually. Look how they got the water down. This is not easy. This must have been very difficult to do at the time. Man. All right, let me just, just for, you know, let's see. Let's see how this looks. One last time, let's try it out here. I never intended this video to go on too long just to showcase what this game can do. And this is something I recommend people try out, especially if you have a EverDrive. Um, I mean, it looks like you're gonna need an EverDrive to be honest. But on the link, I'll also show you different ways you could play it. For example, playing it on the Nintendo Switch, one that's hacked. There are plenty of other places. And I believe there's also a, a browser version as well. Personally, I like the way it looks on the analog. I might be a little biased on that, but I like, it just looks good on all these devices. Just gotta figure out the controls a little bit. To take out your guns, you just gotta hit L and A, and then that's when you start shooting. Other than that, you gotta press L and A. Try it again on the pocket. End it with the pocket since that's what I like. Press. Put the volume first. See if I can open up Laura's home. It froze last time. Oh, there you go. This is crazy. Wow. I'm still blown away by this. Okay, let's do some tumbling. Press the jump button. Wow, this is nuts. Ah, uh, the main hall. Sorry about the crates. I'm having some things put into storage. This is just like the original, man. They really did a great job. All right, everyone. Thank you. Please like and subscribe to the channel. It means a lot. Everybody has already. So thank you, everyone. Have a good one.